This is the video on P Code 101. This is P Code 101, Introduction to P Code. Below is a list of 10 topics of study for the art of programming. When you click on a topic, a list of YouTube videos will be displayed. Click on the video's name. Well, here is the list of the 10 topics. They're numbered from 0 to 9. And when you click on one of them, it will come up down here with a list of YouTube videos about that topic. You can then view them one at a time. For instance, now if I change to topic instructions, it changed the YouTube videos down here. You should also view the videos on the HTML5PCode.com homepage. Well, you can go there by clicking home down here. Many of the HTML5 P code apps have YouTube videos about their programs. Well, down here at the very bottom is a list of such apps. You can run games that were made to teach the art of programming. Click on P code 102 at the bottom of this page. Well, down here on the left, you can go to P code 102. That's a little more advanced than P-Code 101 because it actually has programs and then you're to follow how the program works. Also, you can view the programs used in the relevant videos for actions. Click on the note at the bottom of this page. Well, down here is that note in red. When you click there, you'll go to another screen that will let you see the programs that were used to teach each one of the actions in this P code. Well, now I'm going to click on Next to go to the next note. This P code was designed to make the art of programming fun. Almost everything you do is done with a mouse. You do not need to know how to type or have a text editor. All you need to get started is an internet browser. If you are reading this, you already have a browser. Since one P code app can be used to create another app, you can create a new app right now. P code 101 was designed to teach you the art of programming. There are over a hundred YouTube videos on how to create P code apps. At the bottom of this page, there are many P code apps you can run. You can copy routines from these apps or from the hundreds of routines you will see when you click on pause, and it refers to pause here in the red stripe. Now I'm going to click back to go to the original note. Now here it says in the header up here in black that this is the vids program. Then there's this red stripe that gives you options you can use while programming. Then this is called the blue note box. When you're making an app, you can put notes in this box to explain what your app is doing or how to run your app. Below that, here is where you can go home to the home page of HTML5PCode.com. Here is a list of folders where you can save your app while you're programming it and any time come here and run it the way it was when you saved it. And here, of course, are other P code apps. Now I'm going to go up to the red stripe and click on Program. Here on the left, you see a list of instructions for this program on vids. Later, you're going to learn about how to create instructions. Over here on the right are the blue note boxes. I said you could create a new application in here. You click this button and that's what it's going to do. It's going to erase this one basically and start to create a new one. Here is a list of the subprograms here and the main program's title. Below that are these brown boxes where you use the list values, see page text, 
put names on things. Remember I said you don't have to know how to type. But if you want to put a name on your variables, here is where you do it. You click here, you put the name in once. After that, you just click on that name. You don't have to type it ever again, unless you want to. And you make a program names, variable names, comments, captions, things you need to do while programming. These will be explained in PCODE 101 videos. Then below that, there are lists of videos, but in PCODE 101, you will be going over most all of these videos. All right, I'm going to go execute it. Here we're back to the page again. Well, this is the end of the video on P-Code 101.